All right, good morning, fifth grade. Welcome to Math Lesson 60. Today, we are all about finding a fraction to complete a whole. So let's see what we're talking about here today, okay? Big thing right now, there's not a whole lot of new skills we're learning here, but you got to make sure to read the question carefully. Are they asking how many? or what percent, or what fraction. Okay, so let's start off right now. Remember, the secret to success about these is drawing yourself a little rectangle and using that to fill in the rest of the clues of the problem. Let's take a look here. Two thirds of the 21 students brought paper and pencil to class with them. First question, how many students did not bring paper and pencil with them? So we're going to draw out a rectangle, and we know this whole rectangle is representing 21 students, right? And here it says two-thirds brought paper and pencil with them. This third and this third are the ones that actually brought paper and pencil. They came to class prepared, right? But let's take a look at what that question is actually asking now. They want to know how many students did not bring paper and pencil. So if two-thirds brought paper and paper and pencil, only one-third didn't bring paper and pencil, right? But they actually want to know how many students that's going to be. We know it's one-third, but one-third of 21. So remember what we say, if the numerator here is one, all we got to do is divide by the denominator. So you got 21 students divided by 3. Hey, that's going to give me 7 students, right? 7 would go in that box. 7 would go in that box. And 7 more would go in that box. 7, 7, 7. That equals the whole group of 21. So... How many students did not bring paper and pencil? It looks to me like that would be seven students, right? So what fraction did not bring paper and pencil? We already did that. This is the fraction that didn't. Looks to me like it's only going to be one-third. And then you're definitely going to want some fraction manipulatives on this. It says, what percent did not bring paper and pencil? Seven is the amount, one-third's the fraction. Well, one-third is equal to what percent? Hopefully you know, and if not, you can use your fraction manipulatives. That is 33 and one-third percent because that's what it says on your fraction piece is that one-third is equal to 33 and a third percent. Okay, let's try a few more just like this. Here it says, Jared had read one-fifth of his book. So we took out our rectangle and we divided it into five-fifths. One-fifth is the amount that Jarrett has read, right? So if he read one-fifth, down here is a section that he has left to read, right? What fraction of his book is left to read? One-fifth plus one-fifth plus another fifth plus another fifth. One plus one plus one plus one more, that's four. Four fifths is what he is going to have left to read, right? 
And now it's going to say what percent does he have left to read? Well, one-fifth is equal to what percent? And if you look on your fraction pieces, it's 20%, right? So I'm going to have 20% here and 20% there and 20 more percent here and 20 more percent here. If you don't know, you can go and look on your fraction pieces. That one-fifth is equal to 20%. So I had four-fifths as a fraction. That means I have four groups of 20%. So 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20, that's going to give me 80%. Not too tough if you break it down step by step, and you're definitely going to want to use your fraction manipulatives. Take a look at this guy. Three-fourths of the gymnasts were able to do a handspring. What fraction of the gymnasts were not able to do a handspring? So it's saying that three-fourths could do it. If three-fourths of the students could do a handspring, what fraction couldn't? Well, I only have one fraction piece left. This is the section that couldn't. So what fraction were not able to do a handspring? One-fourth. And now they want to know what percent we're not able to do a handspring. Well, one-fourth is really truly equal to what percent? That's equal to 25%. If you don't know, look on your fraction pieces, right? So what percent could not do a handspring? That was 25%. One more I think we're going to take a look at here. Five ace of the spectators were cheering for the home team. What fraction of the crowd wasn't cheering for the home team? So I set up my rectangle. I got eighths all around. They don't tell us a total number, but they are telling us that five ace were cheering. One, two, three, four, and five. This is the section that was cheering. So if five ace was cheering for the home team, this is the section here that wasn't cheering for the home team, right? It's the part of the crowd that's left. This is the section here, so let's count it up. Here's an eighth that wasn't cheering. Here's an eighth that wasn't cheering. And here's one more eighth that wasn't cheering. Add them all up together. I think that sounds like three eighths of the crowd wasn't cheering for the home team. So now it's asking us what percent wasn't cheering for the home team. Well, you can look on your fraction of manipulatives and you can find out that one eighth is really twelve and a half percent. So I got twelve and a half percent for that eighth, and twelve and a half percent for the second eighth. And guess what I'm gonna have for my third eighth down here? Absolutely another twelve and a half percent. Now this is where it gets just a little bit interesting when I add it up. Start on the fraction side, we've been learning, right? A half plus a half plus a half. Well, guess what? That's going to give us one and a half. So I'm going to write down my half down on this side and carry my one over to the whole number side. So now I have one plus two plus two plus two. That's going to give me seven. 
And lastly, in the tens column, one plus one plus one, that's three. So what percent was not cheering for the home team? That's sounding to me like it's going to be 37 and one half percent. Make sure to include your percent sign in your answers, please. So that is the end. Again, you're going to want your fraction manipulatives and make sure to read the question carefully. Are they looking for how many, what percent, or what fraction? Make sure you read everything carefully. Grab a scratch sheet of paper and your fraction manipulatives for the Socrative quiz and good luck.